Hey everyone, welcome back to Switchcraft and it's a great day to be a gamer. Last week I went through a supposed leak on Twitter outlining stuff we'd get for the next Nintendo Direct. Well, I have some news today and it's that Nintendo has announced that the Direct will now take place this Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Essentially exactly one week after it was originally supposed to due to the horrific weather, earthquake and mudslides in Japan. I really hope everyone in Japan has resumed their normal lives as best they can. Now the other thing that I wanted to go over today is revisiting all of the info from last week's video and based on what we know now and what we've heard in the comments, the likelihood of some of those things to happen. Two things that have happened that were not in the supposed leak was Civilization 6 being announced for the Switch and the Mega Man 11 demo. Now these are two awesome announcements. And I'm not sure if having two pieces of info surface and not having them in this original tweet is a good sign or a bad sign. We'll have to wait to Thursday to find out. As for the rest of the stuff, originally for the 3DS we had it that Mario Land or Wario Land remake from the Virtual Boy is coming later this year and Skip is making it. Now this is kind of one of the more oddball ones and a couple people picked up on this in the comments. That would be a weird thing and that would really be out of left field is to have a Virtual Boy remake. So I'm not exactly sure about that one. Next, Luigi's Mansion, a new trailer, amiibo functionality and a release date for Japan. I think this one's pretty substantial. I, I don't think there's anything too crazy about this one. Uh, Luigi's Mansion, it makes sense that we get a new trailer coming with the game coming so quickly. Uh, amiibo functionality, that's kind of par for the course. And a release date for Japan. Many people have said that we already have the release date, but that's the we have the release dates for North America and Europe. I wasn't able to find anywhere a release date for Japan specifically. Uh, Minecraft for the new 3DS release date in Europe. Um, and a special new 2DS coming in October. Again, with the holiday season, I don't f foresee this one being too unlikely. I think there's a pretty good likelihood of that to happen. Uh, Yokai Watch 3 coming to the West in November, um, and a Yokai Blasters reminder. Yokai Watch 3 coming to the West in November, that does kind of make sense. Um, some people have said that the dates uh, don't really line up with other Yokai Watch releases, and that's I, you know, I checked all the release dates in North America, and they are kind of all over the map. So Yokai Watch Three does make sense, and it's a game that's absolutely wanted. Uh, Mario and Luigi RPG Three uh, DX, a new trailer, and coming early in 2019. Again, I can't really poke too many holes in it. Not many uh, people mention this in the comments. So again, maybe take this one with a grain of salt. It's, I think it's equally likely and unlikely to happen. Um, a Europe exclusive, uh, Inazuma 11 Go Galaxy coming January 2019. Um, again, this is kind of like in that same camp of all of the 3D, most of the 3DS stuff that we learned so far that um, it's kind of like a 50-50 in terms of likelihood of happening. Now, the last two here. This is, these are two announcements that really got some people going in the, in the comments for that previous video, and obviously a link to that in the description. But um, a Metroid Fusion remake for the 3DS in spring of 2019. Uh, it was kind of split 50-50 in terms of people who were absolutely excited and said that this makes sense and they can't wait to pick this game up, even if it's you know a simple asset flip like something like Samus Returns for the 3DS. Um, and then other ones who are like, ah, this is crazy, it's never going to happen. I know that Nintendo still wants to support the 3DS and they're going to be coming out with games for it. Um, so I'm kind of in the maybe 51% uh, thinking that it will happen and maybe in the 100% wishing that it will happen. And then the last one that we had for the 3DS, and I want to get through these quickly so we can make it to the Switch thing, because I'm sure that that's what most of you guys want to hear about, is that the last game is a new Zelda game with a link between world visuals, um, a new 2DS Hyrule Shield coming in Europe in December. So, I think that a new 2DS Hyrule Shield coming to Europe in December is likely with the Christmas season. They're going to pump out as many variations to try to sell as many units as possible. But now, the actual meat of this, of this leak is that there's a new Zelda game coming. Um, and there have been rumors earlier in the year that we're going to see a remake of um, A Link to the Past, uh, the, the first game for the Super Nintendo. And again, it would make sense considering how much stuff they want to continue to put out on the 3DS with those mil tens of millions of units out there. Um, and if they can use, again, a simple asset flip from something like A Link Between Worlds, I think that it would be a great game and it would 
again, shine the spotlight on what is still, to this day, a lot of people's favorite Zelda game of all time. Okay, so now moving to the Switch headlines. Uh, Yoshi for Switch, a new, tra a new trailer, Labo and Amiibo functionality, and coming out in early 2019. Now, we already know that some information was leaked kind of by accident by Nintendo, and we know that Yoshi's the, the Yoshi game will be called Yoshi Crafted World, which I think is a cool title, um, but that's unfortunately all of the information that we got. Um, again, this wasn't a huge one in the comments. Not too many people, I guess, care about this game, but um, a new trailer, that makes sense with it coming out. Labo functionality. I think that Amiibo functionality for this game is absolutely likely. Labo functionality, that one might be a little bit interesting, but if they can do it for Mario Kart, uh, there's a possibility that they do it. And early 2019 we know, we know is correct. Uh, Super Mario Party, a new trailer and a special pack with Joy-Con. This one, I think that we will see Mario Party talked about. I think that we will see a new trailer as the release date is coming up relatively quickly. Uh, a new pack with Joy-Con. I know that they're going to do a Smash Bros. pack. I know that they're going to do a Let's Go Pokemon pack. Um, if they're going to get a Super Mario Party pack, that's going to be something that I think is a little bit less likely based on this information and something that we might ultimately come back to and say, mm, may, may, maybe that was wrong. Uh, up next, Spyro coming to the Nintendo Switch next year. Um, I think that it is inevitable for Spyro to come to the Nintendo Switch. Uh, just like Crash Bandicoot and the Insane Trilogy, Spyro is eventually coming. Uh, what's left to be seen here is whether or not that's what will be talked about in this Direct. So we'll see with that. Uh, new Super Mario Bros. Deluxe coming to the Switch in late October. Uh, I think that this is something that is absolutely likely to happen and a lot of people agreed with that in the comments. Um, the kind of general consensus was cool, more games, whatever, some people didn't want it, but kind of everyone agreed that it better not be full price. Uh, I don't know, I think Nintendo's going to have something to say about that and there might be a couple of unhappy people, but we know it's going to sell like crazy. Uh, Dark Souls, new trailer and demo testing. So again, uh, some people said that you know they're they're not too happy about the whole Dark Souls thing being delayed and delayed and delayed, and that it's actually quite common for Dark Souls games to have a demo for testing, uh, like kind of like a network test before the game is released. So I think these things will happen. Um, and the new trailer, I mean, that game's coming out pretty soon. It's time that we started hearing more about it. Uh, a new trailer for Starlink. I think that's pretty likely and most of the people in the comments agreed with that uh pokemon let's go new information we got a new a little bit of new information last couple days that there is going to be a specific nintendo switch limited edition pokemon go i wonder if that was something that was originally supposed to be in the direct or if they have even more information like gameplay and mechanics uh paper mario color splash switch version coming early 2019 this is one that came kind of really riled some people up uh, most of the people in the comments said, why would you bring such a crappy game like Color Splash? Uh, I, give me Thousand Year Door. Please give me Thousand Year Door. Um, while I agree with them that I would rather have Thousand Year Door, uh, I'm not complaining that we're getting Color Smash. It's another great Paper Mario game. Well, arguably great Paper Mario game. And just another Paper Mario game that we're going to be able to now take with us portably. Uh, let's see. Fire Emblem, Three Houses, new trailer and it's going to be released March worldwide. So again, I think that this one is relatively likely. Um, no one really in the comments disagreed with that, but we did have a lot of people who were just excited to hear more about this game and the hype for this game is, is coming. Uh, what else do we have? The second last one, actually this one was a couple ones together, some third party ports like Assassin's Creed, not the new one. Uh, again, some people were like, that'd be weird to see it on the Switch, but I'll take it. Uh, South Park, so I'm assuming that that was Stick of Truth. And then we had Dragon Ball. So some people were asking like, what Dragon Ball game is gonna make it to the Switch? They got some on pre-order, they got some that they already have. Uh, so let me know in the comments, which Dragon Ball game, if there's a new one gonna be announced for the Switch, do you think it will be in this Direct? Uh, we have GTA. Now this was, this was a really interesting one. So some people were like, no, no way it's gonna be GTA 5. Some people are like, yeah, that's going to be awesome that it's GTA 5. But if you notice, in that original tweet, they never said which GTA it is. 
They, all they said was GTA, it never said GTA 5. So there's the possibility that we have an older GTA or maybe a completely new build. I think it's more likely that we're gonna get either GTA 5 or a older one, like maybe a Vice City or a Liberty City Stories or a Grand, uh, San Andreas, I don't know. But it wasn't specific and it did not say GTA 5 specifically. So that leaves, I don't know if that makes it more or less likely that that's what we're gonna get. And then we're gonna get more about Diablo and I think that it's time that Nintendo spent a little bit of time talking about Doom Eternal for the Switch. And I think that that's a crazy um, leap forward for Nintendo that we're going to get an amazing AAA third-party game like Doom Eternal day one. That shows you how far the Switch has come in only, what is it, 19 or 20 months now. And then the last point that we had was that the last title shown is Smash Bros. Ultimate, a short trailer to reveal Steve. Minecraft guy, Minecraft guy Steve. I think that this was the single most commented about piece of information in that entire video and the vast, vast majority of people were like, no, please not Steve. Uh, I would, I hate the Switch. I'd sell my Switch if we got Steve. Um, I mean, am, am I the only one that was like, it's okay if we get Steve. I mean, sure, are there other people I'd want to see first? Um, yeah lots of people um maybe waluigi before steve am i like am i like personally offended that we're getting steve if that's ultimately what happens no i mean my name's steve it'd be cool to be in smash bros it's ultimate right um so uh, again i don't want to rehash this argument but the general consensus is either no way is steve making the jump from Mine minecraft to smash bros ultimate and if he does um, I'm selling my Nintendo Switch. So there's a lot of uh, really invested people in this game and in this console. And then we're also gonna finally see that special Switch Edition reveal. Now this is something we're almost certain, if not certain, is coming. So it'd be cool to see exactly what we get in that special Switch Edition uh, Nintendo Switch with, with Super Smash Bros. That's all the information. I wanted to spend a little bit of time now that we know this actual Direct is coming next Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern to go through some of the comments, which we had like over 300 or almost 400 comments and give everybody a sense of how realistic I think some of those things are. So that being said, I did get a lot of heat regarding, oh man, I hate these prediction videos. This isn't a leak. Uh, it's just rumors. The person already said it's fake. I think that there was a lot of stuff in here that seems pretty legitimate. Um, and if they if they were just making it up, then maybe they were onto a couple things. But that being said, I do not want to become one of those trendy um, clickbait channels that all they do is talk about predictions and no one ever holds them accountable. One of my first ever YouTube videos was a rant on how horrible YouTubers are at predictions. So you can absolutely bet, and I mentioned this to as many people in the comments as possible, that when that direct drops, you can absolutely bet that I will be the first person to make a video and share it with all of you, upload it to YouTube, critiquing this uh, this Twitter post point by point and making sure that we come back and say, was this true, false, or just absolutely crazy? So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you tune in for that. Uh, I hope to have that for you either Thursday night or Friday morning. I'm gonna put that together as soon as I can. Um, and I'm just, again, super excited that we, that we now have a date for this direct. And uh, I hope that you guys are as excited. Uh, let me know what you think of any of these uh, revised, maybe probabilities down in the comments. Let's get a discussion going. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, it's a great day to be a gamer. Switchcraft out.